So, when Pac-Man is caught by the monster, he, um, the hero is going to disappear and we're going to get the sound dying. What we need to do next is work out whether or not we go on playing the game. In other words, whether Pac-Man has any lives left. So we need to, first of all, on the score, take a life away from him. So if I drag this on, it's the same as before, it's relative, except I don't want to increase it by one, that would make his lives go up by one. I want to make it minus one, which will take his lives down by one. So if he's on three lives, it'll go down to two, two lives down to one. And if he's on one life, it'll go down to zero. So now I need to say, well, all right, what happens if he hasn't got any lives left? What happens if he does have lives left? Because at the moment, he's not in the game at all. And to, you, to do that, I'll use this one, which is to test lives. And I'm going to say greater than or larger than zero. So in other words, this question is, if his lives are larger than zero, he still has some lives left. So to do that, I'm going to go back to control and put these here. So this is what we do if the answer to that question is yes. And what we want to do is we want to create. And what we want to create is a hero. At the moment, it's going to come in at naught, naught. Okay? And if it did not not relative, he would reappear exactly where it disappeared, or in the arms of the monster. So we don't want to do that, so we need to look in a minute where we're going to put him. So I'm just going to put on control, I'm going to put the second one on there. Now to find out where I'm going to put him, I need to go back to the room. Um, and if I click onto a hero, let's say I want him to appear right back in the middle. Okay, if I click on there, well, maybe, maybe there. Okay, if I look down at the very, very bottom of the screen down here, it's going to tell me where I clicked. So to put him right back in the middle, whoops, right back in the middle there, it's 304 and 224. Okay, so it's 304 and 224. So go back to here, back to here, and I want 304 and 224 and that will depend on how your maze is built so with the different mazes you want to put him back in a different place you might want to put him back in the corner you might want to put him somewhere really safe so now we've got that so okay if the lives lives are larger than zero put him back in the game in my case in the middle and then we need the else to say what we do if the answer to that question is no in other words his lives aren't larger than zero he's now got no lives left and if he's got no lives left what we want to do same as before, we want to end the game. And same as before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little message on there first. And that's just got somebody going to say. A few exclamation marks. So, if all of his lives are gone, it's game over, but the message game over. If he's still got some lives left, put him back in the game, at um, in the middle, in whatever those numbers were, which I can't remember. So press play. I need to get my hero killed. So let's find a quick way to go and get him killed. Whoops. So he's come back into the middle, and the number of lives has gone down to two. The number of lives has gone back down, it's gone down to one. And I get him killed for the third time. This time, it should say game over. Because the number of lives has now gone down to zero. 